Got the hole opened up here, and you guys probably noticed we had that stick coming up out of out of the ground. And what we had going on was that stick was covering our plumbing hole right there. So we put that in the foundation when we were building it. And also for everyone wondering, you know, telling us to put socks around the foundation with pipe, drain pipe. We already did that, but don't worry, it'll get fixed. There's a problem with this drain pipe, and I'll show you right now what it is. But I wanted to show you how we were marking that hole right there. So now I got the hole opened up, and we'll start running the uh, plumbing on out. And this is the problem we have with the drain pipe, okay? Because, you know, we're a work in progress here. But you can see right here, the drain pipe is kind of, it's not draining out. I had to fold it back around the house so we could actually operate the machine around here to stack the logs and uh, do the work we've been doing, right? So now that I'm done with that, and I have the backhoe, when we get done with this little bit of stuff here, I'll come back here, trench out those drain pipes, and then we'll be in business, see? So it's all part of the process. You know, sometimes we're doing stuff a little backwards, but we gotta do it as we can get it. That's how we're doing it. All right. Why'd you get the blue stuff? Because Is that the pecs for dummies? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is actually, I forgot what this thing's made out of. It's made of similar materials as pecs. It's a lot more flexible, it's a lot more freeze proof, and also if you get rocks next to it, it won't harm it as bad. The black stuff, the cheap stuff, when you put in a ditch, you better make sure you get 100% dirt because any rock next to it within 10 years, you're going to have a hole. I've been there, done that. 
sand. We need sand. Alright, I'm dug digging a hole. Keep it out of the dirt. Yep. Something. That's all you got? I bit that big old hole to move that back. That's all you got? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mission accomplished. That's what it looks like. T post and some rock. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I did pretty good. I got you right up to her. Not much digging. I don't want to wear this old timer out. Amazon. <laughs> yeah, who's down a hole digging? The oldest? No, the second to the oldest. Second to the oldest. My sharp shooter. Good backhoe work there, boy. Got you right up to her. You bragging? Next yourself. time I'll get you closer to that hole down there. You need. <laughs> there ain't gonna be no next time, Gary. <laughs> and that's the truth. <laughs> Uh, Do we have to cut a hole? I'm, well, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take a sawzall to it. I'm gonna cut. Look that. how they did that. They put that in there and didn't even line the hole up with the connector. Oh my goodness! I mean, Good help's hard to find, Gary. Can you turn it? Can and, you turn uh, it? No, I, I was gonna try bending it over. I can't do it because they got that pipe bolted to it. Screw about it. It's right in here. Really. That's close. Oh my gosh. Boy! 30 inches. Huh? Uh, I'm a little uh, deep. I'm a little deep. 
Hoo so what we're going to do right now is we're putting the hydrant in. We're going to have a hydrant outside, kind of like we have at our house. Um, so that way if she wants to wash the car or hose off something or water some plants or whatever she wants to do, she has an outside water source. And so that's what we're putting in right now. Yeah, what you want to do is, this is, I call it a squeeze tight system. This was on here, rubber washer. It's beveled here and it's beveled there. But what you want to do, put this on your pipe first. Get this onto your pipe. This is a stainless steel collar that goes inside. It keeps it from crushing the pipe. Then you slide the pipe down in there. And there we go. Uh, get on there. This, you just snug it tight. You do not over tighten it. The rubber seals it. Number two, this grabs your pipe. A buddy of mine puts these in all the time. I was lucky I got to see him this morning. He said, number one mistake, and he said today he still does this. When you tighten this clamp right here, you, you can over tighten it real easy and it will cut this pipe in half. He says, once it touches and you cannot get a fingernail in there, ah. I can't do it. And he said, then stop. It's all about the fingernail. All about the fingernails. I'm gonna need a pair of pliers to hang on to this thing. Maybe not. Maybe not. Ain't really no place to grab it. What do you think? How's it looking? The moment of truth. Now we're going to turn on the water. Oh my gosh. Kind of a weird feeling. Oh, you can hear it. The system is charged. No leaks here at the hydrant. We got water. We got 110 pounds of pressure. <laughs> yep, and the weed valve's working good too. Everything is working like it should. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. So. Just so you guys know, we actually did the water and the electricity in the same day, but I had to switch them up and break them up because it would have been too long of a video. You guys have short attention spans. <laughs> so the electricity is hooked up, the water is hooked up. You guys have a lot of questions about the electricity. We'll revisit the questions in a video coming up, right? I'm a little bit behind with the videos. I got one more video for you guys coming up, and then I'm going to explain to you why I'm a little bit behind, and then we'll be all caught up. Okay, <laughs> and you'll know what's going on. But right now, you guys are pretty caught up. I'm just a little bit behind, just a little bit, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, leave them down below. Um, actually, on the next video, I'll be setting the hydrant, showing you guys some tricks on that, and then, uh, you know, showing you some other stuff. So what is this, day 80? Day 80 of the build. We're moving mom from the city, in case you're new around here, and we're bringing her up here. We're building her this log cabin. It's my mom. And Stacy is my wife, if you're new around here. And Gary is our friend, and he's helping out. He jumped in on this project. Great super dude. And is stuck with it till the end, and he's dedicated until mom's inside, uh, you know, sleeping in her bed and stuff. So I really, really appreciate that. But it's been quite an adventure. So if you missed any of the videos, there's 79 other videos waiting for you to tackle. And uh, also you can check out our other videos on our channel uh, and get to know us a little bit. Other than that, I'm going to... Uh, 
wrap this up, get this up for you guys. See you on the next video. Don't forget, I got one more coming. Then we're going to catch you up on why we're a little behind. And then we're going to tackle some of these questions you guys have on the water and the electricity. All right. See you guys on the next video.